Hello friends, this is Pastor Danny Ray from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. I wanted to come back on uh, for just a few moments to say some things to the doctors and nurses who are working so hard during this time of pandemic. I want you to know that uh, we at the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church certainly appreciate you. We pray for you, and we thank you for what you are doing for this community. Whenever I say this community, there are several hospitals in our community. And from what I gather, the hospitals are filled with people at this particular time. But I wanted you to know that uh, we pray for you uh, daily and that we certainly want to encourage you. I know that many of you are working much more than you usually do. Uh, I realize that uh, you are sacrificing, and I want to thank you for your sacrifice. So all you doctors and nurses, may God bless you uh, from the bottom of my heart uh, for what you are doing to... Uh, to rescue those who would perish, and many are perishing, but you are rescuing those, and we appreciate you very much. I want to encourage you uh, from God's precious word for just a moment to try to provide some spiritual strength for you as you continue to minister to the many who are sick. There are five things that I want you to remember. First of all, I want you to remember where your strength comes from. Over in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Dear nurse, dear doctor, when you don't feel like you can put one foot in front of another, remember this verse of Scripture. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Secondly, let me remind you to remember why you're doing what you do. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, the Bible says, And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. So remember why you're doing what you do. And then thirdly, remember that fear isn't necessary. Now, I realize that this pandemic has brought about much fear in people's lives and even uh, probably your lives. I've talked to a couple of nurses that uh, I know personally, having been in the medical field myself as a hospice chaplain for a number of years. Uh, I've talked to several nurses and uh, I mean, they, it's so easy to be fearful. But remember that fear isn't necessary over in the book of Psalms, the psalmist said in Psalm 118, verse 6, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. And then the fourth thing that I want you to remember is that God has got you. He's got your back. Uh, he's got you where he wants you for a reason. And so I encourage you by telling you to uh, live Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. And then the last thing that I say to you doctors and nurses this, this morning or today is this. Remember who is in control. God is in control. Now, this is hard times for doctors and nurses. And I pray that all who may hear this would pass it on to a doctor or nurse that you may know to let them know that there are those of us who are serving uh, as clergymen and uh, leaders of our churches who are praying for you while you fight this pandemic. Just want you to be encouraged and to know that we love you and we appreciate you 
and we thank you for what you are doing for humanity. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the doctors and nurses in our area and around the United States that are giving all they have to give. Some are tired and their bodies are just worn out. And so, Lord, we, we lift all of those who serve up and ask you to bless them with an added strength. May they take these five things that I've shared with them today and let that encourage them as they press on. Use their hands, uh, Lord, to bring healing to the many who are suffering. Uh, God, we praise you for them, and we ask you to bless them. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, and thank you so much for what you did.